Hey guys, X Ninja here, and as you can see, you're looking at my floor. So, what is this video? You probably already know from the title, but I'm going to be showing you, you know, this is the second video of, you know, how I make videos. It's been about a month since I did the first video on my video recording software, and now I'm going to show you uh, what I use, the hardware I actually use to record you know my audio and my gameplay so starting off how I record obviously I record my uh, computer gameplay my PC game uh, gameplay with fraps but this is how I record uh, my Xbox 360 gameplay with the Elgato game capture HD and you can actually see my reflection hello hey, how you doing and but yes this is how I record my Xbox 360 with the Game Capture HD Elgato from right, you know, right there you can see it has an HDMI in, an audio video in, and an HDMI out, and the USB that connects to your computer so that the software can pick up the hardware and you can obviously, you know, record from your Xbox and it can record from your PS3 as well uh, I think that is about it. This was actually $180 online. That is, I think the only way you can get it is from online. You know, you have to buy it online. There aren't any stores that carry the Game Capture HD. And since it has HDMI in and out, it could actually record in full 1080p. But since, you know, Xbox is not true 1080p, I just record in 720 it is very good. I highly recommend you buy this game capture, uh, this capture card, because the software is very good. It never, this has never failed me before, you know, yet. Uh, the Hophog Colossus, which I used before, sorry for the focusing issues, but the Hophog Colossus failed constantly. Uh, I had to re record many episodes before, and it was just really bad. This has not failed me at all as of yet and the program that goes with this from the Elgato website can actually um, it has a feature called flashback recording which you don't even need to press record when you have this uh, installed and running so when you have the software running and you have this connected to your Xbox to your computer you don't even need to press record so let's say you're trying to find montage clips or anything you could just play the game with the software open and when you find a clip you like you can go back on the program and re-record that part of the game that just went so you don't need to record you know hours or you know whatever of poopy poop poop footage throw I would never do that this is hundred and eighty dollars so I'll just put that down right there. So, if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you know that my old headset, this is my old headset, it is actually broken, and it is pretty uh, flimsy. This has lasted me about three to four years, and it's now busted and very dirty. But this is the Logitech Clear Chat Stereo headset. I bought it from Walmart for 15 bucks, and surprisingly enough, the microphone is very high quality, so if you have a couple bucks, I suggest you pick this up. This is for very, very cheap. Some I've I've seen reviews online that say, oh, this headset sucks, the microphone doesn't work, blah blah blah. But if you have like n almost no money at all, uh, this is online on Amazon for about ten bucks. And if you want to take a chance and you don't have that much money, then I suggest you pick this up. You know, there's a mute button a mic mute button and a volume control for the headphones but it is very basic this does not actually come with it I got this from my um, my Xbox 360 headset because I always like to put a filter on top of the microphone so that you know poofs of air when you talk don't go into the microphone when you record which is very good I highly re recommend you get something like this if you get this headset or pretty much any headset that doesn't have a uh, windscreen so you can do that very easy 10 bucks lasted me three to four years I don't know what all the other people 
have been saying about it. They say it sucks. They say it doesn't work. But it worked for me for three to four years. I've dropped it multiple times from a, a height of around like four to five feet uh, because the wire get, gets caught in my chair. And the wire is really long too. It has the, you know, these inputs, the microphone input and headphone input. So you could potentially, potentially, you could use this for, you know, your iPod or anything else and it would work. So, but this is broken, so it's like no use to me at all. But if you have no money and you want something cheap that'll probably last you a long time, I suggest you buy this. But, you know, obviously my headset is broken, so what do I use now? Well, what I use now is actually this headset, and sorry, whoops, is this headset. Now this is from Planetronics. It is whoops. It is the games right there, GameCom. Planetronics GameCom 780. And I bought this online for about um, 60 bucks, which is pretty good since uh, the redu it, it was a reduced price and the actual price was about $80. So it was pretty good for me. And you know, it wasn't too expensive. The headset, you know, there's like this felt tip that goes around the ear. I don't really like how it's square, but you know, I get over it. It has, you know, padding up here. And the cool thing about this is it's actually a surround sound uh, stereo headset. Right here, you can sort of see it. Is the Dolby Digital. If you plug it in, you can switch on 7.1 virtual surround sound. And this is the left headphone, so you wear it like this. You wear it like this on your head, microphone comes out. This again, this windscreen, is from an Xbox 360 headset. It does not come with it. I highly recommend you try to get a windscreen that fits. And, you know, the um, microphone folds out like this, easy enough. On the back here of the left, you can have, you, you can have, you see, uh, the mic mute button and the audio control for the headset when you have it on. Now the only thing that uh, is different from this headset, from that headset, besides, you know, almost everything, I guess, is that it is a USB headset. It is not an auxiliary in and out. I think that's the right word. If I'm not, if it's not the right word, then feel free to call me a liar. So this headset costs about around 60 bucks. The audio quality is very good. That audio quality is not in the headset. I actually like that microphone a bit better than this one, but maybe I'm being a little bit nitpicky, but you know, this is very new. The only video I've recorded so far is uh, with this microphone is Pokemon Fire Red episode 11. So if you are curious to how this sounds, then I suggest you go watch that video and all of that. So that these are the basics of what I use to record. Uh, I will leave my um, computer, my computer specifications in the description. I'll try and research that up for you. Yeah, just throw that over there. And I will research that up for you because I know many of you are very curious to, you know, what kind of computer I have. So I'll keep that in the description so you know what I have. And this actually, you need another HDMI because this, the Elgato uh, Game Capture HD, comes with one HDMI. It comes with this, the actual Game Capture, one HDMI and the USB that plugs into your computer. It is USB 2.0. Don't be worried about uh, this mini USB here because that is just to connect it here. It is very good. I highly recommend this. I recommend this if you are low on cash and if you want, you can try and test the Planetronics GameCom 780. There are plenty of good reviews for it. Good for PC gaming and we will see how good it is for recording Let's Plays and videos for YouTube. So if you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a like and a good comment uh, and all that. If you enjoyed it, have any more questions, leave uh, a comment, send me a message, anything, almost anything at all, and I will try to get back to you. So until my next video, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.